Friends, a couple of other librarians have pointed this out to me that clinicaltrials.gov did listen to some medical librarians and their feedback and added an RIS file export. So I'm just going to walk you through it. Let's see how it works. I'm going to look for cystic fibrosis and other terms, trichafta, and click search. In the meantime, I'm going to open up an EndNote library. Here's my blank EndNote library. So let's prepare to get these out of clinicaltrials.gov and into my library. I must have accidentally clicked on one. So I want to go back to the set of results, the 21 results. Here they are. And I'm going to just say download all 21 studies, RIS export, and we will click download. And there we are getting the export. Let's try this out real quick. Data fields are documented on the RIS download page. Okay, so as I'm reading it, these are the fields we should be getting. So now let's go to EndNote and I'm going to click File, Import, File. We're going to choose RIS, Reference Manager. If you don't have that selected, make sure that's selected. And then I'll click Import. We should get 21 records. There they are. And we are seeing there's not a ton of data, but there's a little bit of data. Most importantly, it links you back out to that particular study. So if we did want to screen the study for inclusion or exclusion, here's the information we would need in order to do that. That's my little tip for you today. Thanks to the librarians who pointed this out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.